Okay. Good morning, everyone. If you could take your seats. We're going to get ready to start. So I thank you all very much for coming today to the Clinical Laboratory Science Program's completion ceremony. It's always a pleasure to see the families and friends that help to support our students all through this grueling year. I know they're tired of seeing my face, so <laughs> it's good to see other faces. So um, I just wanted to welcome you all and uh, thank you all for supporting the students and helping them to get through the year. So now I'd like to uh, invite President Hall to come up. Good morning, everyone. Great to see you. I hope you're excited. I know we're proud and excited for you here at Mercy College that you've completed this program and are now ready to go out in the world and, and do what you're going to do. I've got some very good news for you uh, that I can assure you that you're prepared to, to go out and do what you'll be doing. Your faculty have spent time with you and poured their heart and lives into you to help to prepare you for this moment. And so I have every confidence that you're ready to go do whatever it is that you do right now. Uh, I'm the object of it sometimes because I've had a lot of medical procedures, so I get a little bit of what you do. That's the first thing I want to say is you're prepared. Don't let anybody make you think that you're not prepared. There's always a little bit of nervousness when you do something that's sort of new and it's not just behind a desk anymore. It's standing in front of a patient or standing beside a doctor and doing whatever needs to be done. But here's one thing I want to tell you about is what's brought you this far is going to be precisely what takes you on from here. So you've learned some things from your faculty. Some of them are very specific, some of them are more general. They're about how to think about a particular problem you might have. I want to tell you that generally, the more specific stuff tends to sometimes fall away across the years because the world changes just so rapidly. The things that will probably last you the longest were things about how to think about a problem, things about understanding how to work with people. So I want to encourage you to hold on to that because that's the thing that will carry you the rest of the way. I'm just looking out across you and trying to imagine what you're going to look like in 10 years or 20 years or so. Presidents get to see students who come back after many years. And just looking at you, I know you're going to make Mercy proud, and I want to congratulate you and say, don't be afraid to come back. Don't, don't be afraid to come talk to your faculty who have brought you this far, and I'm sure we'll be happy to talk with you and counsel with you across the rest of your lives. So congratulations. It's good to see you today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, President Hall. And now uh, we'll have a message from our interim dean, Kathleen Gallix. Unfortunately, she isn't able to be with us today, but she so wanted to um, let you guys know how much she appreciated you and um, that you were within the program here. So here's her message to you. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate each of you on receiving your white coat today. This is a major accomplishment and a monumental moment for you. You've worked incredibly hard to get here over several difficult, challenging, and unimaginable years. But you did it, and you should be very proud. The white coat symbolizes that you are becoming a trusted member of a healthcare profession. You are entering healthcare at a time when clinical laboratory scientists are needed more than ever. The pandemic has shined a spotlight on the critical role of healthcare in our society, as well as the hidden work of your profession. Your lab results offer critical information to the team in deciding the best treatment for patients' illnesses and diseases. Your tests help to diagnose, treat, manage, or monitor a person's condition. 
doctors, as well as patients and their families will be depending on you. Hospitals are facing a significant shortage of clinical laboratory scientists. As you move into your careers, I hope that you will become a role model and inspire others to also pursue a career in this field. We need more clinical laboratory scientists. Send them to us at Mercy. We have the ability to help train them and train them well for the profession. Many people don't know what you do, so we need your help in spreading the word about CLS as a career. We also need your help in spreading the word about Mercy's program. We're the only accredited clinical laboratory science program in Westchester, but many people don't know about us at Mercy or your wonderful profession. We know you are well prepared and have an incredible opportunity to make a difference in the lives of others. Strive for excellence and be the very best that you can be. Be conscientious and competent. Remember that every test you perform is linked to a patient anxiously awaiting your accurate interpretation. Don't underestimate the significance that you can have. The Clinical Laboratory Science Program has prepared you with a strong foundation. It's time to embrace everything that you have learned and put it to good use. Best of luck to you all. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask Janari Santos to come up. She'll be our student speaker for the class. Hello parents, honored guests, regular guests, administration, professors, and of course, the clinical laboratory science graduating class of 2022. <laughs> it is with great honor that I stand here before you today to say, we did it. I think it goes without saying that the class of 2022 has been the most resilient, strong-minded group of students in a long time. Just look at everything we've had to overcome in the past few years. The COVID-19 pandemic, gas prices hitting $5 a gallon, and even Baby Shark. I don't know about you guys, but I lost a few brain cells with that one. <laughs> Despite all of these distractions, to paraphrase Clint Eastwood, we improvised, we adapted, and we overcame. Years ago, if you would have asked me to paint a picture of a scientist, it would have looked like a wiry-haired, slightly manic nerd with wide eyes and expressions and grand gestures decked out in a white coat lab. Um, kind of like Dr. Brown from Back to the Future. But now comes to mind, what comes to mind with that word? It's you, it's me, it's him. It's those of us who poked outside the sandbox striving for more. It's those of us who did not fear the unknown but instead ran straight to it. It's those of us who find gratification in bettering the lives of people who we will never meet like identifying the culprit behind Mr. Smith's explosive diarrhea. Yeah, that was me, I grew that. <laughs> or finding the abnormal cells in Mrs. Jones' peripheral blood smear. Oh wait, hold on. Was it a monocyte or a lymph? Let me check my atlas. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> um, eh. Um, regardless, the impact we have on someone's life is immeasurable. The one thing I know, I knew that I could count on was coming to Mercy College and receiving a first-class education. 
I transferred from a school where the teachers made their students run out of the classroom crying after arguing with them and calling them a stupid idiot in front of the entire class. This is a true story. It didn't take long for me to realize that the faculty at Mercy College were the complete opposite. They were welcoming, understanded, respected me, and truly cared about my education. I learned so much in the time in the CLS program. From Professor Naylor, I learned how to be patient and kind, and how to not burn down the whole school by placing plastic tools in the electric incinerator. Oops. <laughs> From Professor Atkins, I learned how to go about life with a positive attitude and how to hoard Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Lastly, from my classmates, I learned how to fall asleep anytime, anywhere. Edson! All right, he's awake. <laughs> All jokes aside, I couldn't have picked a better school or better people to have taken this journey with. If you would have asked me four years ago what to expect during college, it would have not included Zoom meetings or virtual labs. I, always, I will always look up to the faculty at Mercy for remaining professional and adapting to still giving us the best education as possible. I would also like to shout out all the teachers who actually believed we were having Wi-Fi issues. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. We made it. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Okay, so we're going to start our white coat ceremony. I'm going to ask uh, Professor Atkins and Provost uh, Eva Fernandez to join me. So I will, I will call your name and ask you to come forward. And then once you've gotten your coat, I'll ask you to stand to the side so we can do the pledge together afterwards. So first student I'm gonna call is Erica Berrios. Okay, the next student will be Rashida Furlow. Next student, Edson Jules. Jamie Lynn. So the next student is Yasmarlin Mejia. Okay, 
Kimberly Ochoa. Dawn Sanchez. Janeri Santos. And unfortunately, Leanne Williams could not be here with us today, but she did videotape herself putting on her white coat so she could share the moment with you all. Okay, I'll give you a moment to take a picture of the class. And then we're gonna do our pledge. Okay, so part of our tradition is we like to have the students say the ASCLS pledge, which is the American Society for Clinical Laboratory Science, and we're gonna say the pledge together. Okay, everybody ready? All right, so as a medical laboratory professional, I pledge to uphold my duty to patients, the profession, and society placing patients' welfare above my own needs and desires, ensuring that each patient receives care that is safe, effective, efficient, timely, equitable, and patient-centered, maintaining the dignity and respect for my profession, promoting the advancement of my profession, ensuring collegial relations within the clinical laboratory and with other patient care providers, improving access to laboratory services, promoting equitable distribution of healthcare resources, complying with laws and regulations, and protecting patients from others' incompetent or illegal practice, changing conditions where necessary to advance the best interest of patients. Welcome to the profession. Okay, thank you guys, you can take your seats.
So this part of the ceremony, we like to give uh, a couple of awards to our students. Um, the first award that we're presenting is the Outstanding Student for Class of 2022. And that award uh, recognizes the student that has shown their leadership skills and supports their classmates. And it goes to Erica Berrios. So Erica, come on up. The second award is the Soaring Award, and this, this reward recognizes the student that has shown the most improvement throughout the internship year, and this award goes to Kimberly Ochoa. I'm going to invite Pam Markovich to come up and give the last award. And this award is the Murray and Lillian Eder Award for Achievement in Chemistry. And the student that's receiving this award is Edson Jules. Now I'm going to invite Professor Atkins to come up and do our closing remarks. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. It would, it's a pleasure seeing everyone here today. And I just want to remind our students that this isn't goodbye. This is stay in touch. We uh, look forward to hearing about your journey and your career, Michelle, Naylor, and myself. So please let us have your current contact information, phone, email, whatever the current communication mode is. Uh, we love hearing about your journey. Uh, we wanna hear about those milestones in both your life and your career. You are part of the Extended Mercy family, never forget that. Um, and my advice to you is once you do decide on where you wanna start, make sure you volunteer to be on committees, whether it be setting up a new analyzer and then training your coworkers. Uh, simple things like being involved in new instrumentation and method validation, so you can add that to your resume. These are great job skills to make you more desirable and hireable uh, in future uh, upgrades in your uh, career. Um, also, keep in touch in case you do want to advance your education and go on and get a master's or a doctorate. There is one in, uh, doctorate in clinical lab science, don't forget. And uh, also, um, remember to join the professional organization, renew your membership for American Society of Clinical Lab Science. And I'll tell you why. You will get more from it um, by first re-entering now as no longer a student member, but as an ascending member of the profession. You'll be setting up a network with all the other people graduating in 2022. And this will be a great springboard to your wonderful and fulfilling career in clinical laboratory science. So I urge you to renew your professional membership and keep this connection. Uh, it will truly be helpful in all steps in your life, not just your career. Uh, with that, we wish everybody well. Have a healthy rest of the summer. Please, we look forward to hearing when you pass the boards. Uh, we always think of it like a new birth, a new clinical lab scientist is born. So please share with us your happy news when you have it, right? So thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to have coffee or tea or water or a beverage, uh, please do. And we have a photo booth in the back to take pictures. And as you know, we want one more picture with uh, myself and Professor Naylor. So please stick around for one more picture as well. Thank you, everybody.
So this year I was smart because I usually do the closing remarks, but then I also end up crying when I do the closing remarks. So I made Professor Atkins do it today. So thank you all for coming. We can, uh, you can, you're welcome to stay, take some pictures. We'd like to take some pictures with you as well and your family. And I also uh, would like to um, ask the Shaw scholars that are here, uh, we'd like to take a picture. The donors were unable to come today, but they do want a picture of the Shaw Scholars so that we could send it to them. And also those that received the Key Bank Scholarship as well, we'd like to take a picture for them as well. So enjoy the rest of the morning. Thank you all for coming. We do appreciate it. And of course, stay in touch. Okay. Thank you. Linda. Yeah, we're going to take pictures together, okay? Okay, so everybody, let's have on your coats. Let's go in the back, and we'll take a group picture with Professor Atkins and myself.